You think someone 80 is hopeless because they can't use an iPhone? Maybe the one who's hopeless is the one who can't stop using it. Mm. You think I'm out of it because I'm not on Twitch? Well, maybe I get Twitch, but I just think people watching other people play video games is a waste of fucking time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who are you? You ever heard of sports? How about baseball? Okay, this guy right here, for those who don't know, this is Bill Mertz, a late night talk show host that is a dead, dying television show just like many others that pretty much have nothing to talk about other than well us gamers again now that the president's former president donald trump is gone they got no one to talk about no one to diss no one to get at so what they're gonna do what they're dying of people of i guess you say okay boomers that generation of people that still watch tv that still like this kind of stuff and still listen to things while the audience is made to applaud and to make sounds at the sign of a flashing light saying clap now now this guy he is he is not the most popular of the people anymore, and he's not very much in the most public of eyes as, as he once was. He's a now come after Twitch. Now, for those who don't understand the, the purpose of this, this is a bit of gaslighting. What he's doing here is going after a semi-public, very popular, but nowhere near as popular as YouTube, Twitch, platform that I love myself, that I'm personally a part of, and I've been working on for three years now. So yes, this is a little bit of a jab at me. I am the person that people are watching. Not many people, but I'm trying to be something on there. I do believe it's fun. Now, back in my day and age, playing video games with your friends, and a public place or at someone's house or whatever it may be was a kind of exciting thing for my generation. We, I, I loved going over to my best friends or they come up to my house and us playing video games all night, watching each other fail and, and succeed and the triumph and the overall just the excitement of seeing someone more skilled or less skilled than you see they are able to overcome this challenge. If you like seeing someone overcome a challenge and over things that you normally can't do, let me point you toward one of Bill Murr's favorite pastime. Bill Murr is a bit of a hypocrite to his own thing. As you can clearly see here, he is a part owner of the New York Mets of the NFL. Part owner of baseball. If you don't know what that is, man loves baseball apparently. And yet he is going to give us flack for watching someone else do something that you may not even do or you want to learn to do or to idolize and fantasize being able to do. He wants to tell us that wasting time watching other people be successful, good, and even professional at a sport, whatever you may want to say, it's a challenging thing where you go up against other players and beat them, or do better than them, or be funny, be entertaining, talking, what a lot he does himself, talks, he's Apparently, people think he's funny. I don't think he's very humorous, but it's not my kind of humor. This man is going to say Twitch is a waste of time. No, sir. If our stuff is a waste of time, your show is also a waste of time. There's plenty of people called Just Chatting that just chats about their thoughts and opinions about certain subjects. You like talking about political. Well, not always like talking about political things. You yourself, that's your thing. If you were on Twitch, you would be a Just Chatter. Amongst all the other bikini, thong-wearing, hot tub girls on Twitch. And yes, I'm still upset about that. But this man does say Twitch is a waste of time. So is baseball. Goal of the game is who hit the ball the hardest to get it over that little fence and run to base to base as if you're playing hopscotch and tag. Well, that football, same thing. Who can throw the ball the hardest and who can hit each other the hardest and run. Humans are many things, but we find ways to be entertaining and be fun, to do things that are joyous or just overall just fun to watch. It's But it's not a 
waste of time. It's, you feel like it is, you are getting worth out of it. If you feel like you are happy, that's you having your best time. You're not wasting it if you're happy. The only time you're wasting time is when you're unhappy, unsatisfied, and overall sad with your, with your life. And if you watch Twitch and you're saddened by other people's skills and things, maybe you shouldn't watch Twitch. Just like you watch football and baseball. If you're saddened that you can't do what they can do and it brings you misery, don't watch it. It's not very hard to understand now, is it? Just like me with my anime stuff. If you don't like it, it makes you sad, don't watch it. If it makes you happy, you're not wasting your life. Life is meant to be happy. Live your best life happy. Do not fringe on other people. Now, he is gaslighting. Yes, he's gaslighting me. What he's really doing is quite simple. He's dying. The show is dying. TV is dying. And a, an online section on the internet, Twitch.tv, becoming more and more successful. Let's look at the statistics here. Okay, what I brought up here is Google's trends, where I typed in Bill Murs and Twitch. It's not even close. The man has staggered for, oh, let's see, 2020? We could probably go further than this. He is nowhere near, near what Twitch is making and what Twitch is gaining in views and gaining in pretty much just higher numbers overall. His show, his name is dead. He's not popular pretty much. He's not even popular in New York, New Jersey. He's not even popular in New Jersey. Don't know where he's from, but New York, it's one of those places. The man is dying, but yeah, what he's doing, he's reaching for straws. He's reaching for a bigger name than himself to prop up his name, his channel. When he, he can't get new audience, he can't get new viewers. So what he does is he calls out these new names or these new platforms. People, people like me that are on those platforms see this person's name and then we will figure out what's going on and they'll bring him little highlights. So he hoping he gets a little bit of a carry on pack right here. He's calling up Twitch. People like us saying we're a waste of time. Viewers on Twitch to come over to his channel, come over to his dying network, come over to his YouTube channel, whatever it may be, to check him out as if he has anything to give, anything interesting. The platform late night TV shows are dead. But yeah, he's still crashing and he's still trying to come out as gamers. It's not the first time he's came out there as gamers as far as I'm aware. Could be wrong. What is it? You have no one else to talk about? You're not better to talk about? Really? Bigger fish is out there. You, you can go after them. Maybe YouTube. What about YouTube? You didn't say anything about YouTube. YouTube's the same thing. All you need is, is taking something that's live, recording it, and then uploading it up online. And if you think it's scripted, scripted entertainment, which let's be honest here, some scripted entertainment could be fun to be interesting, but it also could be, I don't know, kind of like, it's not really real, but something live can be very authentic. You can see them as they achieve and overcome and be, be better or just to make something or to talk about something. It's live and that's something that taught late live TV shows you do all the time live. But they don't do that very much anymore. So what's the deal, Bill Nerds? Balls in your court. As always, have a good day, have a good night, have a good life and waste your time as you like. Be happy. The song I wrote, you might want to sing it note for note. Don't worry, be happy. In every life we have some trouble, but when you worry, you make it double. Don't worry, be happy, don't worry.